Well, hello, and how are you on this happy Friday? I hope you're good and healthy and everything's going well in your life. Today, I have a tins and tape sale, I'm calling it. And somebody used uh, suggested a measure in time, which is a great saying because that's really what these measuring tapes have done. They've measured over time and are beautifully patinaed, and you'll see that in a minute. Um, so how does it work? Well, number one, you gotta be registered. So you go to vintageous.com and sign up to be part of any of the sales that I do. I do a live sale every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific on this channel, uh, but I also do these pop-up sort of Friday sales sometimes, and uh, this one is a themed one with tins and tape measures. Um, and so if you want something, all you have to do is put the number in the comments. That's all it is. So I will tell you about the item and I'll tell you what number it is and the price. You just enter in the number and it's yours. I'll put a list of everything for sale and the price in the description as well. So you can follow along there as well. So are we ready to go? <laughs> ready to rock and roll? Okay. So the first thing I have is this beautiful leather measuring tape. Okay, so this one is number one with the hook on the end. Look at the patina on this. Is this not amazing? Oh, I was so excited when I got these. Look at the numbers look at the numbers <laughs> you're gonna see me get really excited about these because i love industrial sort of stuff i may you may not know that about me but i actually really love the sort of industrial you know kind of look these would be so much fun you could do so much with this i think you could do really interesting vignettes i think you could do really interesting wall hangings with them I think they're just really cool. I love the whole crank, you know, that cranks it back up. So this is number one. And this one, the leather, this leather one from the Lurkin Rule Co. is $22. So number one, $22 for this gorgeous, gorgeous patinaed measuring tape. So that's the first thing. Then I've got some tins. So I'm gonna put some of them together in a little bit of a mini lot, like a, a duo, I guess you'd call it. So they, these two tins are in this lot. So this first one, I'll show you this one. This is Curity Wet Proof, it says. My light's pretty bright today. Let me just twist it a little bit so that so we can see the lettering a bit better. So it says Curity Wet Proof Adhesive Tape. And it's one of those tins that opens up. And look what's inside. <laughs> Somebody's put some wire on it. So that's kind of interesting too. Uh, it says, Curity Adhesive Tape Made in Canada, Lithode in USA. Um, gives sort of the measurements there. You see the measurements there? I guess that's to tell you, you know, how to do the bandage. Let's get this in focus here. Um, yeah, really cool tin, really neat. And then this one, another sort of first aid one from Rexall, plastic quick band-aids, or quick bands it says. Plastic, flexible, waterproof, flesh colored. <laughs> well, who's flesh though, right? <laughs> Apply to minor cuts, burns, wounds after cleansing with antiseptic. Guaranteed sterile if the individual wrapper's not damaged or open. And this says Rexall Drug Company distributor and it's Los Angeles, Boston, St. Louis, Toronto, Canada, made in the USA. That's what it says on the back there. Let's focus. There we go. Very cool. There's the side. Here's the other side. So fun. This would be great for 4th of July or Canada Day of the red and the white both of these actually would be 
fabulous in a Canada Day or a um, 4th of July display. So this pair of uh, tins is $22 and it's number two, number two for that pair of tins. Okay. I have another tape measure. Now this one is metal on the outside and it's got, look at the patina on this one. So, so, so cool, right? Isn't that neat? Like it has been through a bit, hasn't it? Now, what does it say on it? It says trademark and then it says 50 feet. And then I'm just trying to see what it says on the other side. Oh, universal, it says universal, 50 feet. So, and here's the, the tape on this one. This one is a bit um, darker, right? The, you see the numbers, but it's darker. So it's just a different, you know, uh, and there's the one foot mark. And again, it cranks up. The end of this one is kind of frayed, but again, that just gives it some character. So this is not tape measured number, it's number three, number three, and it's $22. Okay. The next thing I have is a typewriter ribbon tin. So Katie, if you're watching, this one is might be of interest to you. Peerless typewriter ribbon. Katie did a great, uh, um, what's it called? Patrick, Patrick does the deep dives. And he uh, did a deep dive on, um, on this type of thing, this uh, typewriter ribbon collecting. So it says on the back, Underwood Black and Red. That's what's on the back. Underwood Black and Red. And it's got a bit of a screw top to it. It's nice and clean inside. So a great little storage tin. Really fun. Really, really fun. Katie, you may want to tell us in the comments if you know more about this one. And there was a little tiny screwdriver inside when I bought it. So I'm going to throw it back in and it'll come to you too. Okay. So this one here, this uh, measuring, this, uh, not measuring, sorry, this typewriter ribbon, little tin, the peerless one. It is, um, where's my list here? It is number, uh oh, did I go out of order? No, no, number four. This is number four. Number four, okay? Number four is the typewriter tin. And it's $12. So either it's 12 or 22 today. So that, that's $12. Then I have another leather tape measure. And this one I'm calling number 66 because I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but let's try and get that to focus. You see how the little knob has a 66 on it? So I'm not sure what that represents, but that's what I'm kind of identifying this one with. So this one is really interesting. It's kind of warped and, you know, interesting shape to it. But I like what I really like about this one, too, is the numbers on this one. Really neat numbers. Nice and big. Okay, and again, it's got the crank to crank it up. <laughs> That's almost the funnest part, isn't it? The crank it up. So this is, this leather one, it, number 66 is $22, and it is the number five, number five. Okay. Next thing I have is two spice tins. And these are blue ribbon uh, spice tins. Blue ribbon is actually a really collectible tin, I found out. So we've got two spice tins. Again, red, white, and blue. Great for 4th of July or Canada Day. Um, blue ribbon, mace, and turmeric. Okay, are the these tins. Let's get it to focus here. Come on, camera. What you doing tonight? Turmeric. That's what it, that's just, let me just adjust my light a little bit here and see if that helps. So that's what it says on the side there. Let's see if you can get it to focus so you can read that. There we go. Okay, and I'll read it out to you too, but just so you can see it too, Blue Ribbon Limited. 
So it says the Blue Ribbon to the Limited, Winnipeg, Toronto, and Vancouver. To open, hold, teaspoon flat side down with tip at arrow point. Press down with tip spoon, thus forcing partially cut disc downward into can. This new can, this new container shaped to seal spice, seal in spice flavor. So it's got one of those, you know, the sliding um, thing, but it's pretty rusty. So I'm not sure if it's going to actually slide, but it's that, you know, that sliding thing there. And I think there's a bit of turmeric in there as well. So let me know if you want me to take it out before I ship it. And then this one, this one opens actually. When I can smell, I can smell her faint mace, which is like a clovey smell. But I, this one, I think is pretty sure this one is empty. But they're really cool. Look great as decor in a kitchen, right? Really fun decor in a kitchen. So this pair of spice tins is, let's see here, Mason turmeric, number six, $22, number six for those two spice tins. Okay, the next thing I have is a, another measuring tape, but this time it's metal. And I love the color of this one. It's kind of an army green, I'm gonna call it. You know, it's got that kind of greeny yellow kind of tone to it, but just a gorgeous patina on this one. This one has a kind of loop at the end, and then the tape's pretty frayed and then you, until you kind of unroll it. Um, and the numbers, it's again, another one that's kind of on the darker side, I would say. Um, but again, crank works. And is there anything more on this one? I just think they're beautiful. <laughs> I really do think these are beautiful. Okay, so this one is number seven, and it's $22 number seven. Okay, for that one. Um, then I have a tin that is really interesting, Kemp's Biscuits of Real Goodness. <laughs> This one is a kind of rusty, interesting patina one. Okay, so lots of good age on this one. And it looks like kind of the top has faded in the sun maybe or something, whereas the sides are kind of red, right? But the top is kind of more faded. And there it is, Kemp's, Kemp's Biscuits. So this Kemp's Biscuit tin is number eight and it's $12. $12, number eight. Okay. Then I have the last measuring tape, and it's a beauty. It's our nice, really nice kind of rusty, ready, earthy, brick-colored um, leather. And here's the numbers. Nice and bright, interesting, right? The end of it's been taped, so I guess it was fraying or something. Um, has a good crank, right, to crank her back up. Um, oh, this one says 66F as well. Oh, so I guess the 66 means that it's 66 feet. Isn't that cool? Love that one. Okay, so that one is number nine, and it's $22. And then I've got some tins. Um, so I've got two uh, cigarette um tins i've got well one cigarette and one cigar so i have a sweet coral or sweet caporal uh cigarettes really cool art deco kind of design there kissing kinney brothers and there's the inside again really cool mid or deco kind of of styling on this on the back it says um patented 1934 to 35 man manufactured by imperial Ta tobacco co of canada limited oh they're the ones that i have all the tobacco cards for so that's kind of cool sweet caporal i love how it still has you know the paper it's got the front and the back of the this paper uh, seal so that's one of the lot. And then there's the second one is this one, Picure Rittmeister. Rittmeister, if 
I was pronouncing that right, I hope. <laughs> oh. So Rittmeister, and there's a stamp, the seal there, it says Canada on it, so that's kind of neat. And then that's what it looks like inside, Rittmeister. This is a nice one because it's a bit thicker, right? These, This one's thinner, so it depends on what you want to use them for. But anyway, these two tins, so this set of two is number 10, number 10, and it is $22. And then I've got some real collectibles. I have, first of all, a really beautiful tin. So this is a tin by Frida and Nada from West Germany. So I'll show you the, the bottom of it, made by Frida and Nada, designed by Mavis, and it's Western Germany. Really, really cool piece. Look at this, eh? Look at the, the top of it. I think, you know what I think this would be amazing for? To store your masks. Wouldn't it be great for storing masks? I'm pretty sure that would fit. I'm positive they would fit. That would be a really cool tin to have wherever you want to, near your door for masks. Yeah, really neat. Or anything else, right? You could use it for jewelry storage or whatever you want to store in this. Your collection of something would be neat to store in this as well. So this is number 11. This tin is number 11 and it is $22. $22 number 11 for that. Gorgeous. And you see the feet on it too? I should have shown you the little, little feet on it as well. Really neat. Really different. Okay. And then the final tin is... Da, 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 da. I've got two tins of or tape tins. So there's this tux tape, tux cellulose tape, and the scotch tape. Again, really good for uh, Canada Day because it's the red and white. And then, of course, Christmas with the scotch tape. Now, I didn't take these little sticker thingies off. I don't know what they're meant to be. I guess they're just some kind of a label that you know whoever had it was using but these are really cool so here's this first one so i'll open this one up so it's nice and clean inside it has it really like closes tight really tight i noticed on this one now the pet says patented canada 1932 1933 and it goes all the way up to 47 so i'll show you that You see all the numbers there, all the patented numbers, but it ends at 47. So I'm sure this is from, you know, the 40s, 50s. Uh, what else can I show you? I'll give you a close up here of the, the cover. Really neat, really cool one. And it's about, I'd say four inches or so across. And then this one, the tuck cellulose tape, to me, this is really Art Deco-y looking design again. Um, and so it says, Made in Canada, Canadian Technical Tape Limited Montreal. <laughs> and that's what it looks like inside. So it's nice and clean inside. Again, fantastic for storage. So this pair of Scotch tape and tuck tape tins is $22 and your number below if you want to purchase any of these goodies and I will get an invoice off to you if you've re registered at Pentagious.com. So I hope you have a really great day and we'll see you on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Love you all. Bye now.